see what extra popsicles. Jamari Brown moved into this home in North Minneapolis in 2020. We've had rats and roaches for three years. She showed us busted locks, where the basement leaks after it snows, and crumbling walls. That's all you got to do. Brown says she complained, but that her landlord, Progress Residential, brushed her off, and she can't afford to move elsewhere. So what's it take for the landlord to come and fix these issues? For this house to explode and us to die. Being honest. Brown is getting help from United Renters for Justice. And we need change now. The nonprofit has been fighting to improve living conditions for some of the roughly 600 Progress Renters in Minnesota. Tenants have won repairs, compensation, one-year rent freezes, and, in the case of Shanika Henderson, the chance to move into a newly renovated home. These pictures of her previous progress home show the poor conditions outside and inside. It had mold in the basement, probably about this thick, about two inches thick, that set in on the walls from the windows and everything. The mother of four says she is finally at peace in her new home with progress. And it's everything that I ever imagined. I can see this me in my forever home, even though I am still a renter, but my family is safe. Progress Residential is one of the largest providers of single family rental homes in the United States, operating with more than 85,000 homes in 22 states. Renters of Progress Homes in other states have told NBC News about similar issues to those we saw in Minneapolis, alleging that serious problems were either inadequately addressed or ignored entirely. In Minnesota, Attorney General Keith Ellison last year sued Havenbrook Homes and Progress Residential, alleging a deliberate and calculated strategy to extract ever greater profits from their tenants by severely under-maintaining their homes. We cannot let a, a, a company, a hedge fund or a private equity firm, get to a point where they can move the market. His lawsuit also included Predium Partners, the private equity firm tied to Havenbrook and Progress. Owners and operators, all of them are responsible and they will be held responsible. So it's not going to be good enough to say, I, I just own the place and get the profits from it. I don't operate. No, so that's not going to work. Uh, we expect everybody to operate ethically and within the law. Predium declined to comment for this story. In a statement, Progress did not address the issues raised by the Minneapolis tenants, but told NBC News, many millions have been invested in the properties we manage in Minnesota. And in court, the company denies the allegation that tenants had to wait an inordinately long time for repairs. But now Henderson hopes her success inspires other Progress renters. I want to put power into these families to let them know, stand up, speak out for yourself. Obviously. Helping tenants like Jamari <laughs> Brown find her voice. We got to keep beating the door down on them. <laughs> and push for better conditions, <laughs> one fix kisses. at a time. A of Brian Chung, NBC News, Minneapolis. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.